the Tudor government maintained a communication network that crisscrossed the globe. This visualization presents the communications of over 20,000 people across 124,000 letters found in the British State Papers. In the opening view, each black mark represents a person or institution. The bursts you see are letters being sent. This is Thomas Cromwell, Henry VIII's Secretary of State, the protagonist of Hilary Mantel's trilogy. You can examine his letters through time or space. In the time view, we can see all the people he wrote to and received letters from as yellow circles, sized according to the number of letters. Each letter is represented by a dot, red for those he sent, blue for those received. These can be clicked for a full description. Here is a letter he wrote to Henry VIII from his prison cell in the Tower of London shortly before his execution. In the geo view, we can see the places from which he sent letters, shown in red, and the places from which he received letters in blue. By comparing this with a Secretary of State from later in the century, Francis Walsingham, we can see how the purview of the Tudor government expanded, with a much denser coverage of correspondence in Europe and a network that stretched across the globe to Marrakesh, Tercera and Aleppo. Their eyes on the ground in these different locations were made up of diplomats, agents, spies and a whole host of ad hoc informants, such as merchants, soldiers and wandering scholars. These were figures like Peregrine Bertie, who was sent on a diplomatic mission to the Danish king in Kronberg. Unlike the secretaries of state, who were hubs receiving information from abroad, diplomats led more itinerant lives, as they were sent on missions to various different countries. Because we know the places from which they sent letters, we have an idea of their itineraries. As well as highlighting the sites of diplomatic missions, the visualization can also show the sites of military battles and skirmishes if we look at the itineraries of military figures such as Sir John Norris. Many of the letters we see in this visualization are the result of surveillance. Elizabeth I's government sought to protect its interests by keeping a close eye on perceived enemies such as Mary, Queen of Scots. We can see here that Mary travelled to France and that she wrote a number of letters while imprisoned in Sheffield. If we look more closely at these letters, we see that she was writing to enemies of the Tudor government in Paris, such as the Catholic conspirator Charles Paget and the King of Spain's ambassador Bernardino de Mendoza, and that these letters were intercepted by spies. This bird's eye view of the Tudor government's network allows us to see large-scale patterns in space and time, but also to zoom in on these patterns and uncover how they connect to the rich and vast archive of letters that lies beneath. <laughs>